happy Sunday. So today I will be doing some stretching. Um, I've been having a lot of body aches and I have not been my, I have not been doing, excuse me, I have not been doing my um, daily stretches. So today I'll be doing some stretches and I'll be sharing with you guys as well. I am not a certified trainer or anything, just a regular person. I'm just going to share some stretching tips with you all. If you want to go ahead and follow, go ahead and follow me, subscribe. I'm on Instagram as well as underscore Gatiuska. Um, underscore Gatiuska. Yeah, that's, I think that's, I think that's what it is. But if not, I'll go ahead and go on here and correct myself. Anyhow, before sharing my, my stretches with y'all, I wanted to share with you guys a little bit about yesterday. I created a video about, um, I created a video sharing about my um, gestational diabetes, that I might have it, and how they wanted to do a second, a part two uh, gestational diabetes testing on me. Um, after viewing the video that I created, I was, I was very sad. I actually had a little breakdown moment because I was looking at myself and I was like, oh my God, is that how I look? I have gained so much weight. I look so different. And my fiance gave me a hug. <laughs> and he was like, it's okay. You know, it's your second child. What do you expect? Um, you know, you just had your first baby. And before you were able to drop the weight that you gained from your first baby, we got pregnant again. So it's okay. Um... You'll get back to the gym after you have this baby and you'll bounce back. So um, why am I sharing this with you guys? Because I know a lot of moms out there freak out about, you know, weight gain and everything. And it's okay. Yes, we're going to gain weight. We're going to look different. We're going to look swollen. <laughs> I know I do. <laughs> um, especially the last day. You'll be surprised how swollen you look. Don't freak out. You know, just go sweat it off and you'll be okay. Um, I'm still learning to be okay with my weight gain. So all, all we can really do is just change our diet and our, our, our bad habits and turn them into good habits. So today's day two of turning my bad habits into good habits. Anyhow, so back to my stretching. Let's get back to stretching. Um, well, let's start stretching because I haven't started stretching. Uh, my baby's going to be making some noise. Because he's playing. So if you want to go ahead and put the volume all the way down, you can. Um, again, I'm not a certified trainer. So please uh, reach out to your doctors and ask if you can do these stretches before attempting any of them. <sighs> all right. So let's start. And my baby took the remote. One moment. Okay. My neck hurts. We're going to be starting with some standing exercises. I'm going to start on the neck, okay? So we're going to be doing some neck rows. As you're doing the neck rows, make sure to breathe in and out, okay? And start. Let's do five. Other side. Go at your own pace. Two more. We're gonna go. Excuse the light in the back. It's making the. I see the glare. Hope it's not bothering y'all. Next is gonna be some neck tilts. You're gonna move your head right to left and it's gonna stretch on your neck. So, one. If you wanna feel more of a stretch, you can gently pull your head down. Close your eyes and continue to breathe. Uh, 
other side. Okay, next, let's just do a couple reps, two. Next is shoulders. If you're feeling tight from your shoulders, this exercise is good for the shoulders. Up and back. You're going to go up and back. Feels good. Up. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Exhale. Now we're going to go forward. Up and forward. Up and forward. If your arms are feeling tight, Stretch and reach on each end. Reach, and you're going to feel the stretch right here. And cross. This is a good <coughs> arm stretch. Make sure you're breathing. Reach, switch. You can close your eyes so you can relax more. Next, forearms and wrists. So go ahead and clasp your hands. You're going to move them in a circle, gentle. And continue to inhale and exhale, okay? side. This feels awkward. This side feels awkward. <laughs> Next. Go like this and pull your fingers back. You're going to feel the stretch on your forearm and your wrist. Now down. Switch hand, you can shake your arms. My arms help from getting tired quickly. Um, so go ahead and shake your arms and go back to the opposite arm. And stretch. Inhale and exhale. Down. Go ahead and open and close your hands. Move your fingers around a few times. You want to pop your fingers. Some people say it's not good, but if it feels good, do it. <laughs> Next is going to be our legs and a little bit of our hips. We're going to go ahead and reach to our right side. If you can't touch your toes, you can stay on your thigh, on your knee, whatever feels better, okay? After we do the right, we'll be switching to the left. So let's go ahead and go down to the right first. When you're on the bottom, you can dangle your head and move your neck around. Relax the shoulders completely. And down. You want to stretch with us, baby? You want to stretch? Tickling me. Tickle, tickle. <laughs> All right, that's my child tickling me. Now you're going to go up, inhale, reach, exhale to the left side, and down. From there, 
you're gonna inhale and exhale straight down to the floor from here you could dangle or you can arch your back if you, wanna, if you want to feel more of the stretch on your hamstring you can throw your butt up and arch your back or if you want to feel more of a relaxed stretch just dangle let yourself dangle you can also touch your elbows at this angle there go up then we're gonna stretch our hips um, stretch our hips we're gonna go down to the right side bend your right leg and go down if you want to stay here so you can stretch this part right here if that's more comfortable go ahead and stay right there if not go all the way down And you want to lean to the right side. So I'll be leaning this way so I can feel more of the stretch. I love you too. Relax your neck. From there, we're going to switch. Go to the other side. Make sure you're still breathing. Good. Inhaling, exhaling. Now we're going to go up. Inhale. <laughs> exhale. From here, we're going to go down into a squat and just slowly twist. You're going to feel the stretch on your upper back and on this area as well. You want to turn your face to whatever side you're twisting, okay? Inhale. Exhale. You can go lower or stay up here, whatever is best for you. If you want to go up, Can. Down, up, stretch, shake your leg, and go back down, switch sides. come down so you can feel both sides and with your elbows if you can put your elbows on your knees you can go ahead and open your legs a little more gonna go ahead and hold on to a chair if you have a chair whatever is by you just hold on to it if you have to if you need balance okay we're gonna go ahead and reach for our ankle if you can't reach the ankle you could do your toe and pull so you can feel the stretch on your thigh
slowly let go. Shake the leg. Switch sides. And reach. Okay. If you need help with balance, you can lift the opposite arm. Inhale. Or cross it on your chest. After that, let go. Shake. From here, we're going to go ahead and move onto the floor. I'm going to pause the video for a little bit because my phone says it needs to be charged. So, hang tight. Alright, I'm back. Go onto the floor. And we're going to go ahead and touch our toes. Yes, come on. Touch your toes with me. Touch your toes. Well, if you have a stomach like me, how about we do some butterflies instead? We're gonna bring our feet together and try to go down to whatever's comfortable for you, okay? Go down. And you're gonna feel the stretch on your hips, on your butt area. Put your head down and rest. Inhale and exhale, okay? Come up. Just go ahead and bounce your legs a little bit up and down. As you're inhaling and exhaling. From here, we're gonna go ahead and open up and reach to the right side. You can go straight down or forward, whatever's comfortable to you, okay? And relax your neck. Go up, inhale, and exhale. Baby, look, don't grab your blanket. Go on to the other side. Leave it alone. Go up. And go down to the middle. We still have our legs open wide. Keep stretching to the middle. All right, from there, we're going to inhale, exhale, and bring. One leg in. I'm sorry, y'all. This baby right here is just interrupting all my video. Forgive the distractions and the interruptions. Hopefully my next video is better. From here, we're going to go down, bend one leg forward. And the opposite leg is going to go out, okay? And you're going to bring your hip in, okay? You're going to feel the stretch on your hip. If you want to go down to your elbows, you can. And let your head dangle. Or if you want to go up and stay straight. Whatever is more relaxing to you. I'm going to choose down. So make sure to bring your hips in and go down slowly. Inhale. Exhale. If you're 
you're comfortable here, you can reach out and lay it down. I'm going to turn so you all can see from here. You can reach out and lay down. If your stomach is big and your foot is getting on the way, bring it out a little bit. your legs a little bit in butterfly position and do the opposite side now. So go ahead and bring your opposite leg in, turn and extend and bring your hip in. Face forward. Make sure your shoulders if you're comfortable like this, go ahead and stay like this. If not, turn your shoulders. You want to feel more of a stretch. Make sure you're breathing. A lot of us forget to breathe when we're exercising or stretching. If you want to go down, go down. Also, this is another alternative. You can open your shoulders and go up. Inhale and exhale. Slowly come out of it. Next, come up. You're going to be in this position right here. Let your head dangle. From here, <coughs> baby. <laughs> so, from here, you're gonna go arch and cat pose. Arch and cat pose. Inhale, exhale. Make sure your, your legs are slowly, are slightly open, okay? Inhale. When you go into um, an arch, you throw your shoulders back. And then, <coughs> are you giving the class too? And when you go into cat pose, bring them in okay so throw your shoulders back and throw them in do five of those and I'm gonna try to distract the baby over here after that we're gonna go back into all fours and we're going to lift our leg up and down. You can do it that way where you lift your whole leg or you can leave your toe on the floor and just open. One. Two. Three. Go ahead and switch legs. Switch side. Hey, aren't you all fours? Using a feather for useful pack. And yes, open. Up. Nice. Down. <coughs> Our priority. 
Up. Down. I wanted to show you guys another way you can do that if my baby lets me. Um, so from here, you can go here, you leave your toe on the floor, or you can go here where you pick up your toe. Hey! 